Hello friends and welcome to Limitless Life. I am Larry Hutton and boy, I'll tell you what, I am excited today about the things we're gonna be sharing and talking about. I mean, we're always talking about who the, the real Lord and Savior of planet Earth is and that's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We're not talking about religion. We're talking about somebody that's really alive and he really is a healer. He'll heal your body from physical disease. He really is a financier. He'll, he'll get you out of debt and pay off your home and pay off your all your debts so you're debt free. He really is a, a, um, a prince of peace. He'll give you peace of mind where you have peace and joy and, and it gets rid of depression or gets rid of bad temper and anger. He is a wonderful, wonderful Lord and Savior if people really learn. And that's why the devil works full time through religions and, and certain denominations in the planet Earth and, and, and cults and all these things. He, he, the devil works full time trying to keep people from learning about the real Jesus. I may just have to do a series titled The Real Jesus sometime. <laughs> that would be a good one. Um, but that's who we're talking about because, you know, I guess, I guess there's some reasons that I talk about him all the time because he so changed my life. I had an incurable disease in my body the first 22 years of my life, and he healed me. When I found out he was alive and real and he was a healer just as much as after I got saved, I got healed. And then <clears throat> he taught me how to become financially free. And so my wife and I ended up paying off hundreds of thousands of debt, or mo no more mortgages on our built ministry property or our home, no more car payments, no more anything, de totally debt free and plenty of money in the bank to pay cash for things now. And, and then the Lord showed me how to uh, walk in an emotional stability where I had uh, God's emotions of peace and joy dominating my feelings rather than the feelings of the negative emotions of the world of depression and discouragement and stress and worry and hurt feelings and guilt and shame and hopelessness and frustration and bad temper and anger and hurt feelings, all those things. I learned how to live free from all of those things and it's it's just been a life change. It's been a game changer. You know what I mean by the game changer. It's like, okay, all of a sudden, I, a game changer is when the losing team has something happen and then now they win. It was a game changer for them, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what, it changed the game, so to speak. We're not really in a game, but, but just that illustration, it was a game changer. All of a sudden, I went from a person that was defeated in life and everybody is defeated by sin. Whether even if you think, you, even if you have lots of money, that doesn't mean make you a success. Who wants to be the best sinner that goes to hell, <laughs> right? It doesn't matter how good you are or how financially free you are or anything else. None of that makes you a success. Jesus Christ is what makes you a success. Is when He lives in you and through you. So you get born from above, the scripture calls it born again, born from above, you accept Jesus and get born in Him, that's when you're successful. But, they, but even Christians though that are born in Him, if they don't learn about the true Jesus, the real Jesus, they can live defeated lives. God doesn't want us living defeated lives. He, want us, he wants us to live the blessed life. And so, in fact, I think it'd probably be good for me to share um, why I started teaching this particular subject. I titled this series, I started two days ago, this will be our third program, but I started uh, teaching this series and I'm titling it The Way to Control Your Feelings. You could give it so many different uh, titles, but I just titled this series The Way to Control Your Feelings, where you actually get to choose how you feel. You can choose how you feel. Maybe I could just title it that. You can choose how you feel about anything and, and about every situation, no matter what people do to you, how people treat you, uh, what's going on, your hormones, your chemicals, everything, uh, being tired, all those different things that play a part in our emotions and our feelings. We can choose how we feel. And that's why I get up, even out of bed, every single day I get up and I don't care how I feel, I change the way I feel by what I choose. I choose. I get up every day and say, this is a day the Lord hath made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad. Well, that sure sounds different than sad or had or mad <laughs> being glad, right? So, so here's, why, here's why I'm teaching this. I haven't shared this the last couple of programs, but a number of years ago, I had the Lord uh, come to me and 
teach me all of the stuff that I'm teaching that I started and that I'm teaching for this next several weeks on this subject. If you really want to learn how to live without having another down day the rest of your life, make sure you tune in every program and watch this because it, it's a game changer. You'll, you'll become a winner in this area of your emotions. Um, so the Lord came to me. Now, <clears throat> when he did come to me, I didn't actually see him. I felt him enter my room. Uh, I knew it was him when he started talking to me. Now, when you watch, if you ever watch the, the read, the dramatization on Sid Roth, if you go to Sid Roth and you look this up and see his interview with me, he makes it look like Jesus. I, I could physically see Jesus. That was just dramatization, but I didn't see him, but I knew it was Jesus. He walked in, he started talking to me. And this is what he said. He said, I'm going to show you in my word what to do. And if you will do it, Notice the condition, if you will do it. Well, that kind of sounds like James 1, doesn't it? James 1, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. And then he goes on to say, if you're just a hearer, then you'll forget what you are and who you are and what you have. But if you continue, verse 25 of James 1, if you continue in my word, in other words, you keep doing it, you'll be a doer of the work, you'll work the word, and then you'll be blessed in all of your doing. Well, Jesus said, if you do what I show you, talking to me that day, because I, listen, when I, when I heard what he taught me, and then I started doing it, and then I started teaching this, I've been teaching this for a number of years now, but more, 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 I'm teaching it more and more in, in current times, because it's such, so needful in people's lives. But when I started teaching this, I had never heard any other preacher teach on this subject. I had never heard another person say that you could control your feelings 100% of the time. You can live free from guilt, free from shame, free from depression, free from stress, free from worry, free from bad temper. You can live free from those things. Nobody had ever taught me that. I'd gone to a great Bible school, Rama Bible Training Center back in the eight, early 80s. and, and um, so I'd, I'd been to a lot of places and I sat under a lot of great ministers, but I'd never heard anybody teach the things that Jesus showed me. Now, I'd heard people such as Joyce Meyer talk about, you know, emotions and stuff, but never from the, what Jesus taught me. And I'm not saying what she says is bad. She's helped a lot of people. I'm just saying the things the Lord taught me, I'd never heard anybody say. Now, there may have been people out there teaching it. I just wasn't in contact with them because uh, there's nothing new under the sun. But he did show me this, and uh, now I teach on this, and I teach people how to live in peace. I'm talking about peace in your emotions, peace in your feelings, how to live there 24-7, 365. A, a pastor friend of mine, he said, Larry, he said, I tell you what, I never heard anybody preach this before. He had been in the ministry for years. He said, I tell you what, you're an apostle of peace. Well, if you think of the word apostle, it doesn't mean, you know, you're this great man of God or great woman of God. You're an apostle. That's not what it's talking about. It's the, the word apostle, uh, it just means a sent one. Well, God did send me to planet Earth to teach this, and he sent, he sent me to teach some other things as well. Uh, so when he said, you're an apostle of peace, it just, I took it as a compliment. I thought, well, thank you. Praise God. I'm just going to keep obeying God, keep teaching the words that he's shown me my part in the body. My part may not be somebody else's part. Maybe somebody else doesn't teach this and maybe I don't teach what they teach, but we need each other. Hallelujah. So anyway, the Lord came in my room and he said, I'm going to show you in my word what to do. And if you do it, you will not have another down day the rest of your life. Well, I'll tell you what, you know what that sounded like? You, you know the old phrase, that sounds too good to be true. Yeah, exactly. It sounded too good to be true. But one thing I've learned about God and His way is it is too good to, under, to even understand in the natural little pea brain. It is too good and it is the way. Too good to be true and it is the truth. It, it's too good and it's too true. <laughs> if you want to go too, T-O-O, too. It, it, it's extremely, it, to the extreme good and to the extreme true. So it's, it's not too good to be true. It is too good and it is true for sure. <laughs> too, too true. <laughs> Hallelujah. So uh, I just thought to myself when he said, if you do what I tell you, you'll never have another down day the rest of your life. So he went on to show me 
what he meant by down day. And of course, down would, would include depression, having depression or, or being discouraged. So down, down in the, we, we call it down south, we call it down in the dumps. Or we, we would have this phrase, down in the mully grubs. You know, a blue Monday, a terrible Tuesday, a wicked Wednesday. <laughs> you know, so whatever, whatever you, you title it. But um, the Lord said, you'll never have another down day. And then he said, uh, you'll never have another stress-filled day. You'll have, never have another strife-filled day so that you're letting anger and strife and bad temper control. You'll never have another, uh, let's see, another depressed day, another strife-filled day, another discouraged-filled day, another get-your-feeling-hurt-filled day, another bad temper, anger-filled day, another, never, another um, um, uh, guilt-ridden day, shame-filled day. And it just went on and on and named all these, whatever negative emotion you can you can say and mention that is an emotion that pulls people down and hurts people and is negative, negative emotion. That's what he told me. He said, I'm going to show you how to live free from those days. He said, that won't, that doesn't mean you're not going to have the moments. The moments are going to come. You have a thief out there. You're in the, you're in the world. And in this world, there is a kingdom of darkness who the Satan is, is Lord over. I've translated you out of that kingdom. I've given you my dominion and authority over him. You can submit to me and resist him and he'll have to flee. You don't have to yield to his ways. <clears throat> He said, but if you do this, you won't have any more of those days. You'll have moments, but I'm going to show you how to keep them as a moment. And he didn't say this at the moment. I, th I think later on I thought about it. Uh, you know, Jesus said, when you're yoked up to me, my yoke is what? Easy. My burden is light. So in other words, things that when they do attack us, we don't have to allow them to last. When they're a curse, when, like depression or stress or bad temper, anger, all those things, when they come and we feel that way for a few moments, it doesn't mean we have to keep feeling that way. And that's what he was showing me. You don't have to keep feeling that way when the feeling comes. You get to choose how you feel. In fact, he even gave me an example <clears throat> of how people even do this in the natural realm without even using the supernatural empowerment from heaven that we've been given as Christians. And that's what we're going to be teaching through this series and what the Lord taught me. But he, he gave me a natural example. He said, for example, if you've ever seen anybody, of course, use me as an example. It happened to me and it's ha probably happened to all of us. So all of us can relate. He said, if you've seen somebody that got really mad at somebody else, whether it was a husband at a wife or a wife at a husband or somebody at somebody else, whatever. They got really mad and they're just really angry and they're yelling and they're flying off the handle. And all of a sudden somebody walks into the room that they were not expecting. Let's just say, because the Lord gave me this example, let's say it's a husband and wife and the husband is yelling at the wife and just mad and flying off the handle, bad temper, anger. And all of a sudden, one of the children, little, little three-year-old walks in and the, the husband doesn't want the little child to see him acting that way. And so all of a sudden he takes control of his feelings. Oh, hi, honey, and my, daddy, mommy, everything okay? Oh, yeah, sure, baby doll, sure. And, and you're smiling at the child, and you're talking so sweet to the child until the child leaves. And then all of a sudden, you go back to your rampage. And, and, you're, and another word, listen, the Lord showed me, he said, in other words, you chose to act one way before the child came in the room, but when the child came in the room, you chose to act another way. So you, before the child come into the room, you would have said, yeah, but I couldn't help it. I could not control it. I'm, uh, she made me, she made me so mad I couldn't help it. But it's funny, she made you and you couldn't control it until all of a sudden the little kid came in the room and then she wasn't making you at that moment and she wasn't controlling, you couldn't, you did control it. See what I'm saying? So the Lord was showing me this example and it just was a wow moment for me. I went, whoa, you know, this is, whoa, yeah, I can see. So, so in other words, the person really did have a choice. They really didn't have to yell and scream and, and, and fly off the handle at the wife because they proved it when the child came in. You were smiling at the child. Yeah. Yeah, but I was just 
I was just faking it. No, you, you, you may have been not yelling and screaming at the moment, but you weren't faking that smile at that child. You smiled because you love that child. You talk sweet to that child because you want them to hear a sweet voice and hear a sweet daddy and love you and not think you're crazy. <laughs> My point is, and the Lord's point when he showed me this is, we can control. We have to make a choice in the way we act, which means controlling our feelings is a decision process. It has to do with the thoughts and with the mind. So I wanted to use that example because, man, when he used that example, of course, then he started taking me through all the scriptures, which is what we're going to be the next several weeks. We're going to be going through all these different scriptures. And it's just, it's revolutionized my life. And so what I started doing when the Lord showed me, because remember, I'm thinking, man, this is too good to be true. You mean I can have, you mean I can go through a whole day and not have to have an hour filled with stress or an hour filled with strife? I might have a moment but I don't have to have an hour filled with stress or strife or depression or discouragement. I may have a moment where I feel depressed, where I feel discouraged, where I feel guilt, where I feel shame, but I can stop it and then I don't have to have a day filled with this the rest of my life. The rest of my life, I can do this. So after the Lord, of course, then taught me and took me through the scriptures and there was one real scripture that was the whole foundation of everything, and we'll get to that as well. But when he took me through, then I thought, okay, I'm going to start doing this. And just one day at a time, I started doing what the Lord taught me. One day, just one day, I said, okay, I can do this one day. After I'd done it one day, there were some moments during that day, the first day I did it, that I could have had some of the negative emotions come in, whether it was stress or worry or depression, discouragement, whatever, um, anger, whatever. But during that one day, that first day, I stopped them. When the moment came, I said, no, wait a minute, I don't have to because, and, and I did what the Lord showed me. So I said, okay, I can do this again. So I did it a second day. And then I did it a third day, and I did it a fourth day, and I did it a fifth day. And I just kept taking one day at a time and just did one day and one day and one day, and one day, and one day. And before I had known it, I had strung together 365. Watch it, watch it, because sometimes people think, well, it's impossible, 365. No, no, one, one days. Just one day, and then just one day, and then just one day. And then before I realized it, I had put together 365 of those ones. 365. And you know what you're thinking right now, a whole year, yeah, a whole year. And I looked back and realized I haven't had a down day in a year. Wow, I haven't had a stress-filled day in a year. I haven't had a strife-filled day in a year. And by the way, that'll really help your marriage <laughs> and your relationships altogether. I haven't had a, a get-my-feelings-hurt-filled day in a year. I haven't had a um, guilt-filled fi guilt day in a year or, or shame-filled day in a year or frustrated-filled day. Or, man, none, none of them. Bad temper, anger, none of, none, none of those. None of those days, not one. Again, I had moments when people hear you say, because now they hear me say, I haven't had a down day in, you know, and they'll hear me say for many, many years, and people think, whoa, and they'll think it's just impossible. And I'll, I'll tell them, wait, don't get me wrong. I've passed up a lot of marvelous opportunities. <laughs> In other words, to be depressed, to be stressed, to be mad, angry, and, and frustrated and all that. I, I've passed up a lot of marvelous opportunities. But that was the key. Jesus showed me how to use the word to pass them up or to resist them so they have to yield. I'm not going to yield to them. They have to yield to my authority and flee. And so that's what I did. And so then after doing it one year, then I did it two years. Then I did it three years. Then I did it four years. And now it's been many, many years. My daughter, she's 26 years old at this year when I'm ministering this, never seen me have a down day, stress-filled day, depressed day. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is cool. And I'm not bragging. By the way, I am not bragging on Larry Hutton right now. I am bragging on Jesus. 
I am bragging on His Word because before He showed me the Word, what to do, remember the Word is living, so it's got God's life in it. You start applying God's life in every realm. Well, this, this particular realm we're talking about is the emotional realm. So when I started applying God's Word to my emotions, my feelings, then all of a sudden I now had control. I was in control of how I felt. I remember when I shared this with a, a, a wonderful Christian man. He had, he had graduated from the same Bible school I had gone to, felt called into the ministry, and was, was a wonderful man, and, but he was really fighting. He would slipped into depression, uh, slipped into discouragement, and just, you know, was having a tough, tough go on life. And uh, so he had called me up and asked me if he could come talk to me, and I Brought him into my office one of the times that I was not on the road traveling, you know, and brought him in. And I remember sharing. I started sharing some things the Lord told me about and, and shared with me how to live in peace all the time. And I made this statement to him. I said, you can control how you feel. And when I said that to him, he acted like I was nuts. He, he acted like he looked at me kind of almost like you would slap somebody with a wet dish rag, you know, like what? What, like, what did you say? Like, come on. In fact, he even said, would you say that again, please? And I said, you can control how you feel. You don't have to let other people, the way they treat you, control how you feel. What they do can treat, control how you feel. You don't have to let your body tell you how you feel, your hormones, your, your chemicals. You don't have to let the world and what's going on in the political realm or the financial realm or the, the spirit realm. Or you don't have to let anything control how you feel. You can, can let Jesus control how you feel. And that just blew him away. But of course, I was able then to take him through more scripture and show him like we'll be doing here in this series. But it was, it was a powerful moment for him when he realized, whoa. In fact, he even told me, he said, I have never had anybody tell me that before. Nobody has ever told. He, he said, Larry, he said, I thought the way you feel is the way you feel. I, I had no idea that we have a choice when it comes to our feelings. I remember years later, I was reading after Smith Wigglesworth. He a, was a great man of, man of God from England. And if you've ever read any of his books, he had 20, I think 23 people, if I remember right, something like that, 23 people raised from the dead underneath his ministry. So he was a powerful man. I had a lot of healings, a lot of miracles. But I remember reading after him and he made this statement. I never ask Smith Wigglesworth how I feel. I tell him how I feel. Wow. When I read that, I realized that this man, and I didn't even know him at that point, I was just reading after Smith Wigglesworth, this man has the same revelation that I have that Jesus taught me, except he had lived a whole lot longer, I mean a whole lot earlier than I had, so he was already alive and dead now when I'm reading after him, so I found out, whoa, so what Jesus taught me is nothing new. This guy had the same revelation. I don't have to allow other people to control how I feel. I don't have to let other uh, people's actions, I don't have to let other things, I don't have to let what's going on with the president or, or other countries or terrorist activity or, uh, or tornado tornadoes or hurricanes or I don't have to let the world and what's going on in the world dictate how I feel. I get to control how I feel. Man, that's why I kept doing, and that's why it's like, you know, when I tell people you are looking at one happy camper. You know what I mean by that? If you've never gone camping, you may not even know that term, but if a happy camper is one when you go camping, man, you have you, you're not care you don't care about anything you've laid all the cares of your job and and everything and the stress and everything beside and you go camping out in the wilderness somewhere or some campground somewhere some national park and you're a happy camper man you're sitting next to the fire the stoking the fire keeping it warm and you got your marshmallows there man you're a happy camper you know everything is is as we said in the south hunky dory and peachy keen <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're just, you just, you, you know, the old saying, I got it made in the shade. Well, I, that's, that's how I was. And I, and I realized, wow, this is so fun. I got to keep living this way. And that's why I kept choosing after that first year. I thought, this is so much fun. Well, why would I want to go back 
to Egypt. <laughs> Why would I go, want to go back to that old lifestyle of living in stress and living in worry and living in hurt feelings and why would I want to go back and I, and I never have and it's just so fun that's why I'm sharing it with you that's why I want you to know that I'm not just preaching oh he's just preaching no I am I'm sharing yeah I am preaching I the word preach means to proclaim I am teaching means to explain I'm doing both but I'm doing it because I'm already living it I want you to enjoy this kind of lifestyle. And you can, listen, we've already have people that were bipolar totally delivered and healed and they're not bipolar anymore when they got a hold of this teaching. Same thing I'm gonna be teaching you. We've gotten bipolar people set free. We've gotten people that were going to uh, clinics because they were diagnosed clinical depressants. Your depression, you gotta get clinically treated. So they're going to, uh, we've had people going to anger management classes not going anymore. They got totally set free. That's why we're teaching this, to help you and to set you free. Praise God. Well, we're out of time again. So I just wanted to share this experience as we keep laying a foundation so you can see why I'm teaching this, how it originated, and then why I'm teaching from the Word. It's not based on anything. It's not based on a supernatural experience. It's based on the Word. Jesus took me to the Word. And that's what we're taking you to. Well, thank you for supporting us financially. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for sharing these programs because the more people that hear, the more it's going to affect and the better the world's going to be. We love you. See you next time. Have a Jesus-filled day. If you would like to schedule Larry Hutton to speak at your church, event, or conference, go to LarryHutton.org and choose Contact Us from the menu bar or call one 887 word. Do you ever feel like you're riding a non-stop emotional roller coaster through life? Do you want to stop the seemingly endless ups and downs and rounds and rounds? Then it's time to learn what God has to say about getting your feet and your emotions back on solid ground. It's all too easy to let life's events, experiences, and circumstances dictate how we feel, speak, and act. But God gave us a much better way to live. Larry Hutton's life-changing book, Internal Affairs, and CD series, Free From Me, will give you the Bible answers and show you how to keep every negative emotion under complete control, all the time, in every situation. You will learn how to overcome all your negative emotions and live in peace all the time. To order Eternal Affairs and Free From Me, go to LarryHutton.org or call 888-887-9673. Join us again for Limitless Life with Dr. Larry Hutton, where you'll get practical teaching from God's Word that you can apply to your everyday life. Go to LarryHutton.org to watch this program and many others. You'll find special offers and resources to help you thrive in life. You can check on Larry and Liz's schedule and join them at a meeting near you. That's LarryHutton.org, or you can call 888-887-WORD.